I, I will go ahead with the opening statement from Coach. All right, well, all right, everything a little better. Even the uh, even the post game, you know, we couldn't couldn't get the uh, audio working last night, so it's kind of kind of followed the script of the game. We're not not a hell of a lot went right, but uh, um, you know what? Real real impressed with our guys, and 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 you know we were disappointed last night. Now that that's a that's a tough one to handle, and uh, you know pretty uh, pretty bad taste in your mouth, but. Uh, um, you know what? Sports are an interesting thing, and it's how you respond to things. And I always think that's the important thing. We're kind of finding our bearings here and, and trying to figure out. Obviously, last night's not the team we want to be tonight. We worked a hell of a lot harder, and, and we're rewarded. So, um, again, re real impressed, real proud of our guys. Good Spartans today. Uh, they bounced back. And uh, um, uh, I was talking on the radio with, with Scotty Moore about it, and uh, um, I thought about a speech my, my sophomore year that Donnie McSween, who's you know one of the best captains I ever played with, and, and definitely one of the best captains ever here at Michigan State. And you know we had lost at, at home to Michigan, and uh, you know we didn't lose to him back much back then, but uh, uh, it was a bad loss. And I, I think Neil, you might know, I was I don't know what what the score was, seven three or something, but um, I just remember Donnie's speech and, and, and talking about the importance of things, and so. I got to give him a call tomorrow and give him uh, give him credit because you know everything he talked about, um, I remember and I told the guys remember that and keep that that's not a pleasant memory but but, uh, but you can learn from it move on and they did and um, I'm a, I'm a tough guy to impress and uh, uh, they did tonight they were there that was a gutsy bunch in there, good Spartans. All right, uh, Scott first up. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, good win tonight. Two quick questions. First off, um, do we have any update on uh, Nash Neenhouse? Is there any lingering injury there? Or was he? No, you know, I, I, th I think I think he'll be uh, he'll he'll be good to go Monday in practice. He was he was. We probably could have played him tonight if we had to. I think we just kind of took the approach that hey, you know what? Let's just you know take another day. You know, Powell's been playing well. The, the decor has been fine and. Uh, you know, just, just a little bit of caution. So I, I look for him to be back here pretty soon. And uh, second one, what do you like? Obviously, the first line produced two goals tonight. What do you like out of um, Josh getting on the score sheet for the first time, Charlie getting back on for the first time in a couple of games? What do you like out of the performance of the first line tonight? Uh, you know, hey, they're, you know, we don't have, a, you know, that's our top line. And, and you know, all three of those guys are, are guys that, that we need to produce. And, you know, but kind of the way we've been rolling, if you look at our, you know, our top, top scorers, they're all bunched at, you know, we had five or six guys with six points and it's probably still a little bit like that. So a little more by committee, but you know what, there are some parts there and those three guys, this, you know, they played a little bit together last week and then, um, you know, we, we put them together this week and uh, in practice, they looked real good. So, you know what, we need, uh, we need them to apply pressure and, you know, if they score, it's even better, but you know, for Nods, he's he's been doing a lot of good stuff, and he's he's a true sophomore in the Big Ten, and that's it's uh, you know, he's a young guy, and, and he's got a he's got to cover a lot of minutes for us, and uh, you know, you get he's had a lot of assists, but you get that zero off the score sheet off your uh, hockey card, it's a good feeling, and you know, we, we feel real good for him. He's he's a, a harder worker as we hey, he actually, he's one of those guys that works, you know, too hard where you got to tell him, hey, you know, your intensity's good, but let's cut it off uh, at a certain point and save it for the game. So. Um, great to see him. I mean, that's a what what a, what a feeling on the on the bench, and uh, you know, real happy for Josh. Nate, uh, that opening faceoff, um, you know, starting out with Apap Stevens and Estevez. Um, Apap wins that faceoff, and the bench gave out a really loud roar. A lot of, <laughs> you know, hitting the boards. Um, what did his um, presence tonight just do overall for the team? Well, it's you know, I think it takes. You know, good good players and, and good leaders. They they take pressure off the other guys, and they kind of allow allow those guys to you know be more comfortable. He takes you know a lot of the tough minutes and, and face offs, and you're always going to kill penalties, and you're always going to you know he's going to throw some big checks, and and he's going to defend top line. So you know what that takes that takes a pretty big burden. And, and when he's out, like any 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 player like that on any team, that just moves everybody up one peg in the uh, uh, in the lineup. But uh, but no, he's. You know he's he's loved in that room. He's he's an uh, inspirational guy, and uh, um, yeah, having him come back, even man, even if he was just sitting on the bench dressed, I think he would have brought a lot to the game tonight. He's 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 that important to us. Neil, Neil. Yeah, now obviously the team showed a lot more energy tonight, but what did you guys do defensively that was so much better than last night 
that were you kept Michigan, you know, even though they were dangerous at times, a lot at bay and not as obviously around the net like they were last night. Yeah, you know, it, all, it always I think always starts in the uh, in the offensive zone. I, I thought our uh, um, just layers, I guess, to, to put it one way, where you know we had, last night we had two guys chasing the puck a lot, and they'd make one pass and, and jump by us, and, and you know so we we're always constantly reading and having switches on the way back. And then I also thought again in terms of, of layers through the neutral zone where we kept our speed and we had a better angle of uh, of pursuit, which carried us back, and that let our D gap up quite a bit more last night we were spread out we you know there's just too much space between our forwards and our d-men and uh, when you get playing that way the d just can't gap up and especially with a team that skates and passes like them uh you're going to be on the wrong side so you're, you're constantly on your heels so i thought we did all that um an awful lot better and then in zone boy we didn't we didn't lose many guys in coverage until uh you know they got that lead with the 2-1 goal and that was unfortunate a guy slid to the back it was a good play and you know, guy got to the back door, but really we hadn't lost too many guys until then. So pretty clean, but a lot of it's, hey, it's angles and it's, it's working ahead of the puck is what we talk about is, is not waiting until you, you know, okay, it's there and I'm going to dive in and make the play. Just, just work ahead of it. Um, be prepared to get more offense out of it that way and puts you in a good spot defensively, but yeah, much, much better. Thanks, Dan. Audrey. Audrey. You mentioned that you're a tough guy to impress. And so what did you think tonight of the special teams play, specifically when it came to the penalty kill, maybe? What did you, how impressed were you that you guys were able to kill all of those penalties, especially when you had those two back-to-back in uh, the second period? Yeah, it was, I mean, that was, you know, tough. And then you thought in the third period, hey, they'll put the whistle away, which kind of looked like, and then, then we had another one there. But, no, they did a great job, you know, just, you know, again, getting Tommy back kind of levels some things out. Uh, you know, Nico Mueller did a great job. He's jumped in. He's, he's a good hockey player, and he's, he's just finding more and more ice time, and he did a nice job. And then uh, Matson and uh, Joshua were outstanding as a pair night. So, yeah, those guys were real good. The D were blocking shots. Their sticks were real good. Um, we kind of put them in some spots where we wanted to be. So, no, yeah, real happy with that aspect. And, I, you know, the power play, we had, we had it around the net a little bit, and uh, not bad. And, uh, you know, our entries were good. Our uh, recoveries were good. Got some pucks on net and just, just couldn't get one to uh, – we had nine shots on net in, uh, in, in the, on the power play today. So, But you got to keep plugging on those and, and uh, look good. I was hoping they were going to break it open for us and get a power play in the third, but uh, no such luck. And then I was trying to hear you. I'm sorry. When you said the first speech about Donnie, did you deliver some of the same words or what did you do but pregame in terms of, I'm sorry, it was hard to hear you give a little bit of that first part. And so I was just wondering if that was what had to do with some of the gumption initially when you came out, because you could just tell you just had so much more of it tonight. Yeah, no, I just, just with, yeah, it was, it was Don McSween and I know exact words. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm already, it was more of the, the emotion of it and, and how important you know all the games are, but but the Michigan games are real important, and uh, and we hadn't played well, and and we were, we were that was a good we were the national championship game with that team, and uh, just did not play well, and and it was a lot it felt a lot like last night, and and you just the main point was hey that's got to burn, that's got to burn in you not just for you know tomorrow or the next week or this season that's the rest of your life that's got to burn in you, and uh, that's that's what we uh, we talked about, so just tried to carry the uh, the emotion and Don wasn't, I mean, he's a fantastic man and uh, he wasn't big on speeches. I mean, he, he, he did things the right way all the time. Great teammate, great, uh, uh, great guy. But uh, you know, that was a time when that, that was, and Louie and I talk about it a lot. It was as emotional as I've seen Donnie. And I, I mean, Donnie and I lived next real close to each other in Grand Rapids for 10 years and played together and, you know, still real good friends, but that's, that's one time I, you know, that, that got me and uh um, and I've, I've been a Spartan my whole life, and and that one that made an impact. I mean, that's hard to do. That that how important these games are, and how hard you have to play, and that those things can happen. Thank you, Danton. Rico, coach, uh, there was some some uh, areas and some times where Michigan was just flying away, buzzing. You know, didn't know if you'd get gain possession of the puck, but it didn't look like you had to say a lot to the guys. It looked like they were able to work themselves out of those situations and I guess it calm things down. Is, is, is that perception? It, do I have that perception right? Yeah, yeah no, I don't know. Was, uh, uh, they did, they did a nice job of that. I think you're right. You know, you're going to, you're going to spend some time in your own zone with them and, and, you know, if you can contain them, but 
you know, when it gets extended or it's at the end of a penalty kill and you can't get out. We had a couple of those where guys just couldn't get off the ice, but you know what, they, they handled it and, uh, you know, didn't get, get run around crazy and, you know, good sticks and angles and, and we're able to find a whistle or find a way to get it out of our zone and get it deep and get a change. And um, I like this about this group. I mean, they, you know, every year we've done a little more winning and, but, but they've got a, a good winner's mentality where, where there's a certain calmness, even at two, one, um, it was good on the, I mean, not good on the bench, but you know what I mean? They were, they were ticked off, but you know what, there's, there's, you know, good intensity fortitude and they, uh, they kind of knew what they had to do. They got it up and they got the next one and then, uh, you know, found a way to get the third one. So no, I, I like the way they handle themselves in that way. And we've done that a few times this year, you know, we're down two nothing in Minnesota, which is a kiss of death. And, you know, we found our way back into that game, tied it up for a bit there. Um, but, uh, no, they, they, they've got a little extra in them when they want to dig down and, but it's something that hey, you got to do that. Hey, let's, let's do that 60 minutes every night. Let's not have a, a game like last night where, uh, you know, we get back on our heels all the time, but you yeah, prove something to yourself and believe something and set that bar and uh, let's move forward from here, not keep clawing back from, um, you know, not incomplete games or, you know, you know, a bad outing on the road. So that, that's our next step. I know it's a follow-up. I know as a coach, you, you know, you need to keep your poise and everything, but I, when you see them perform in moments like that, where they respond and answer, do you, can you do a little fist pump behind there with that? Nobody can see because know that they got it. Uh, yeah, that was, we were little, so guys jump up so we can kind of hide behind them a little bit, but yeah, no, it's, it's fun. I mean, look at, look at, uh, you know, John Cooper, uh, you know, in the Stanley cup. I mean, that's, and this is, we get, we get to coach a game and, you know, I, I don't, I don't, we don't work. I mean, this is just play. You get to come in here and have fun and, you know, people that don't get carried away, they should be carried away. You know what? I have some fun with it. And as Matt, hey, if you can get mad last night when you get your ass kicked, you better be able to enjoy it. And, and we will, we'll, we'll take a little, have a nice, nice glass of wine tonight and enjoy that. And, uh, uh, but yeah, I was, I, I was trying to keep a little calm, but that second goal was good. The third one, Third one, we felt pretty good. I gave Louie and I gave a little bump there, and then and I had to worry about the last 37 seconds. Yeah, like I said, you got it. Hey, if you don't enjoy it, man, find something else to do. Okay, thanks, go. All right, one more here, Jim. Go ahead. Hey, congratulations, Danton. Hey, um, when it was two to one, when Nodler scored the game tying goal, did the grit level go up even more at that point? I saw Good Sir win a 50 50, and then I think Good Sir. Uh, kind of prevented a clearing pass from getting out. Did you? And then after you scored it two two, the next shift it looked like a, a real gritty shift. Did, did the, the the grit gas pedal get pressed there a little bit? Would you agree that uh, that kind of something accelerated there? I don't know. I mean, we did a nice job, you know, getting it in, and uh, um, you know, it was just an innocent dump. You know, Kyle Haskins just gets it and bumps it in, and we go four check, and that's something we've been talking about. You know, doing more of that uh, throughout the game and the weekend, and he did that makes a nice play and. And then I, yeah, you do feed, you get it, you score, you know, you feel like you go from, Hey, you know, we played so hard and we're down to one, do you tie it up? You get a little bit of jump and the next line carries that over. And, uh, you know, fortunately there's guys like, uh, you know, Nodler and uh, Combs and, and Lewandowski out on the ice that, that could make them pay for that. So yeah, you get a little bump out of those things and uh, always gives you a little energy. You get a little more oxygen when, when things go right. I meant with Krieger's game time goal. One other thing with, with, with McSween, when you let, when you lived next to him for 10 years, did that conversation come up periodically or never? Will he remember his exact words from that? Oh speech? yeah. Donnie probably would. He's, he's getting old though. He, you know, he's probably, he's got some timers. Um, but no, I, you know, we, we talk, Hey, we're Michigan state guys. You talk about it all the time. We didn't talk about losing to Michigan very often. I'll tell you that much. So. All right. Thank you. All right, thanks everybody. We'll have a couple of players shortly.